friends Tony here. So in the previous video, we put the local in a URL. So the first segment of the URL is local. And I took the apple.com website as an example. But here by default, we are in the English and we don't have that first segment, okay? But in our project, if I remove the first segment, which is the local and hit enter, we redirect back with the en, which is the local we put in the app configuration file. And I had a comment how oh, we can achieve the same thing we have in the Apple, so remove that uh, first segment if we have the default value. But instead of this, I'm going to remove the first segment for all the locals and put that in the session. Okay, so you can go and read more in the Laravel documentation if I search for session. Okay, here you can read more about the session and session put key value or you can use the global session helper session and pass in the key and the value like this. Okay, but in here if we want to change the local we have this link and we navigate to choose country or region and we can choose that. In our case, uh, I'm going to create a drop down in the dashboard. So when we log in, we navigate the dashboard and there we have that uh, drop down for the logout and a profile. And I'm going to copy and paste and do the same thing for the locals. Okay, let's open now the VS code and start and work. The first thing what I'm going to do is open the localization middleware. Here we say app set local and we get the local from the first, the segment one in the URL. And also we say URL defaults local and say request segment one. But instead of this, we are going to remove now from the URL. So what I'm going to do, uh, we can say here, for example, if the session and use the session helper method that has localization, for example. Let's say we name localization that. And if that is true, we can say app set session, set local, session get localization. Otherwise, we're going to say app set local and get the local from the config app local. So what we put in the default one. Okay. And that's it. Okay, but instead of this, we can make that uh, shorter. So if you go the session and now here we have a uh, storing data, but if we use that session helper, that's retrieving. Yeah. Here we have specified default value. We have session key, for example, localization, or we are going to add the default one. And we're going to use that. So let's move, let's remove this also. The, and uh, now we say app set local session, but not get localization. And let's copy, just let's copy this to have not get localization, but we say here localization or the default one, which is going to be the config and not local but we need to say app dot local like this we need to close this correctly okay now remove this one and also we need to remove the url defaults because we are not working with the url anymore and save and now we have clean here we just say app set local the what we put in the session localization or as a default, we use the app local in the configuration file. Let's close this now. And now we need to work with the URL. So let's open the web routes. Remove now this one here. We don't need also remove the prefix. And let's save. Right now we have 404 not found because we don't have the URL with EN. And now we have English because I think it's a, if I open the app PHP in the config, yeah, we have EN. 
if I say ES here. And also we need to clean the storage here. Good. And refresh. Now we have in Spanish. Okay. But as I said, I want to have a drop down to change the localization. For that, let's close this. And if I open the .env file, I have added here the database Laravel as a name because I have a Laravel database. So you can go and create that. And now let's open the terminal and run the artisan migrate fresh. Okay, let's go and register a new user. So fake filter here, register, and we are in the dashboard. Now here we have this drop down with profile and logout, and I'm going to copy this and paste. I'm going to create two of them. And that's it inside the navigation blade. Okay, so here we have this drop down. Let's duplicate this one. And the first one, I'm going to make it uh, for the localization. So let's say, I'm going just to say local here. If I save, yeah, we have local here. Now here we need to render the, we need to list the or locals. And for that, let's open the config. I'm going to create a new file here and make and name it localization. Okay, and here let's say PHP. I'm just going to return an array. And here I'm going to say localis. Uh, sorry. Yeah, we need to put this. It's going to be an array for localis or so en and just the es, not more. Let's close this. Let's save. And now here we need to remove the logout. We don't need that. And cut this link and make for each and use the config localization localis as a dollar sign local and put the drop down link and here instead of the profile like this we pass the local now we need to create the route. When we click this link, it's going to change the localization based on the value we have here. Okay, so the route is going to be, I'm going to name it a localization. You can name it what you like, and then we need to put also the value, local. Let's say, now let's go and create this localization route. Okay, here we can say route and we need also the controller. We can do directly here, but I'm going to create a controller. So let's open the terminal, clean this and let's say artisan make controller, hit enter. The name is going to be localization controller, hit enter. And this is going to be invocable. Let's close this and now let's use that. So route, get, and when we navigate a slash localization or what you can name it. And we need the local here. Now let's use the localization controller and say class here because we have invocable controller. So we are okay. Let's give it a name, which is going to be localization. And let's save. Now let's open the controller and make the logic here. We don't need the request. We need just to, to get the local here. The value. And here we are going to check. So if we go back. So we are going to do the same thing we have here. Just copy and paste it. 
So if it's not in the array, I'm passing the local, which is the value. Now instead of en hard coded here, we can get that from the config file. So config localization localis, and it's going to abort. And now instead of the saying app set local, we are going to say not app set local, but we are going to put that in a session. Session, and we can say put, or we can say an array with localization is going to be the key and the value local like this. And then we are going to say return redirect back. Okay. So now we are good with this refresh. As you can see here, we have this uh, string, which is a translation of you are logged in. Because in the dashboard here, I added this out.login-message, which is going to come from the lang en auth. I added the login-message to be you are logged in, and also in the es auth login message, is going to be the translated Spanish. Okay. Now let's try. Let's if I click EN, let's see. Yeah, we have you are logged in. If I click in the ES, yeah, we have this Spanish you are logged in. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. So if I refresh and for example, right now we are in the ES, let's log out. As you can see here, we are in the Spanish and also let's register one more time. Let's uh, use a pick filler. I'm not going to save that and I'm going to change this to EN and I'm going to log out. We have again Spanish. And why is that? Because when we log out, we destroy the session and we regenerate that on the middleware. Okay, so we say app session, app set local, session localization is going to be config app local. And if I open that app, config is yes by default. If we say en, save and refresh, now we have en. So now if we navigate again to register blade, and let's register. We have you are logged in, set local to yes, okay. If we navigate the home page, we have in the Spanish, if you go back and log out, so we are in Spanish, right? log out. We have English because in the app PHP, we have this, and when we log out, we destroy the session. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.